All right, turn that music up. Turn it up. Great song. It goes like this, the fourth, the fifth, the minor fall, the major lift, the baffled king composing hallelujah, 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 hallelujah. How did that happen? A bizarre scene at Donald Trump's town hall in Pennsylvania last night. After two attendees needed medical attention, Trump decided to turn the event into like a music listening party. And for nearly 40 minutes, the former president bopped and swayed with the audience to nine different songs. The campaign called it a total love fest. Well, here to discuss for our keynote conversation is singer, songwriter, absolute superstar, Rufus Wainwright. Rufus, I'm so honored that you're here. Thanks. Okay. Brian Williams used to anchor this show, and Bruce Springsteen was his number one. You are my Aww, Bruce Springsteen. Thank you so much. Well, so when I heard this song last night, I, I, I had to. Do, I'm like, this can't possibly be happening. When you found out that your cover of Hallelujah was featured at a Trump event, how did you find out? How did you feel? Like, what happened to you last night? Yeah, well, I, you know, I knew that uh, that they, they were using the song occasionally, sort of at the end of rallies, and, and actually, um, the, the Cohen family w were, you know, getting in touch with them and telling them to stop. So I, it has sort of happened, but I knew that something was different <laughs> when I got messages from all over the world uh, last night, you know, from Germany and, and and England and stuff, you know, pointing to this, you know, footage. And and originally I thought, oh yeah, I heard they do this sometimes, but then when I watched it and I realized what it was ha happening I was completely dumbfounded horrified but also like dumbfounded <laughs> by what was happening because it was just so bizarre and so uh, like nothing I'd ever seen before in my life so. but this specific yeah. song hallelujah yeah. it's obviously not an original it's a cover yeah. so you must have chosen this song when yeah. you recorded it for personal reasons. It has to have deep yeah. meaning. That song yeah. has lots of meaning for so many of us. Yeah. So the fact that that particular song was played, how'd you feel? Look, I've, I've sung Hallelujah for many, many years, and it is turning out to be one of the greatest songs ever written sure uh, about peace and acceptance and about the truth. And, you know, it has a very, has a very spiritual meaning. And yeah, it, to, for him to use it was uh, was blasphemous <laughs> in many ways. But it also there were moments when I did also see because the song the song is so beautiful and it brings out a kind of um, humanity. I did see a broken man <laughs> up there who needs help <laughs> and who is expressing some kind of yearning, maybe for for redemption or something like it did it did because they did the whole thing and, yeah. and every you know so they could turn it into kind of a prayer and I hope it's a prayer for good and for for you know uh, you know a better world which um you know they might not be aware of <laughs> that is a beautiful sentiment yeah. but you were angry yes I was when you angry. put out yes, a statement yes, today yes. you blasted his yes, campaign yes yes um tell us about that and have you heard from them not yet. No, I haven't heard. Um, I'm, I'm not. I don't really want to hear from them necessarily myself because uh, it all kind of scares me a bit. But uh, yes, no, it, it was it was very upsetting. But but on the other hand. My dad, <laughs> always the practical guy, loud, and he said, "Well, now you now you've really made it. <laughs> <laughs> you crossed over. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You, the, now you made it, and, and it's good for stage banter. So, so, so I can also, you know, bring it up as a kind of comical thing because it is also pretty ridiculous. But more than that, your music yeah. is meant to connect people. Yeah. Your music is meant to bring people together, to inspire people, yeah. and maybe it's a positive." that people who are nothing like you, who don't normally listen to your music, are feeling connected. What is your message to the country while we're in this completely divided moment? Yeah, well, you know, I have sung Hallelujah all over the world, and in America I've sung it to both Republicans and Democrats. It always seems to even the playing field a little bit. So if once again, trying to look on the positive, if this is a moment when we can all just stop and I don't know, uh, try to come together in a certain way. I know it seems ridiculous at this point with how divided we've become. Um, I'm happy to be part of that uh, solution. That being said, if this, is all, if this also turns out to be one of the craziest moments that people can refer to and look at Trump and really see how 
insane he is and this whole situation is, and it helps bring him down, I would be really happy to be a part of that.